And this is our daily encouragement for Thursday, March 5th, 2020. And the verse comes from Luke 1, verse 1 through 4, New King James. Inasmuch as many have taken in hand to set in order a narrative of those things which have been fulfilled among us, just as those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word delivered them to us, it seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write to you an orderly account, most excellent Theophilus, that you may know the certainty of those things in which you were instructed. Free indeed is the title of today's devotion. These are the beginning words of Luke's gospel, and in them he states the purpose of his writing to Theophilus and to us. Interesting side note, the name Theophilus means friend of God. Our faith is based on sure facts. Part of the purpose of Scripture is to inform us of these facts and to assure us of their truth. It is interesting to notice the process, both human and divine, behind the writing of this gospel as Luke reveals them. First, there was his own meticulous investigation. Then there was the testimony of the apostolic eyewitnesses who could echo Peter's words. We did not follow cleverly invented stories when we told you what the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we were eyewitnesses to his majesty. 2 Peter 1.16 The actual events were the fulfillment of the purpose and plan of God. There is a divine hand evident in these events themselves and in the witnesses and the writers. Scripture does more than assure us of the truth of events. It gives us assurance of the truth of our experience, which is based on those events. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. 1 John 5.13 And pray with me. Father, you gave us eyewitness accounts of the life of your Son, Jesus, accounts that show he is the rightful King of Israel, accounts that he lived by example servanthood to your holy purpose, accounts that showed him to be both fully God and fully man. You gave us the truth, Jesus, that you are the truth, the way and the life, that the only way to the Father is through you, and by your precious blood shed on the cross and your great and glorious victory over death and the grave. Revive us, Lord. Set our spirits free in you to live your holy purpose and to forever give you the praise, glory, and honor. Amen. All right, so the links are in there, and uh, there's a link for some worship from Crowder, red letters, kind of like that one. So click the like if you like and tell a friend. All right, so leave a comment, question, prayer request, love to hear from you. All right, have a great day. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.